Hello everyone and welcome to this next lecture on Python Power Electronics. It has been a while since I've recorded a lecture and I have been busy building up the next version of the circuit simulator and that's one of the reasons for creating this video to show you that version. So to begin with this next version is going to be only with Python 3 and for that matter I will be discontinuing support for Python 2 very soon completely and I would rather that everyone uses Python 3 because typically speaking it is tough for me to maintain two versions of the circuit simulator so it's best that I migrate completely to one version. Since Python 3 is the version that's coming up it's best that I migrate to Python 3. So first and foremost I will just tell you where this is. As usual I go to my website pythonpowerelectronics.com you go to the download section. Now in this you will find several releases which are latest I mean they are all in python 4 version 4 now there is a version python 4.1.2 now python 4 this circuit simulator 4.1.2 circuit simulator 4 means is the web application for python 3 that's what it means now up till now i was at 4.0 now i moved 4.1 because there has been a major change the major change has been number one i have done a major migration on the django backend and I have also done a fairly large migration on the front end UI and that's one of the reasons I'll be showing this particular thing. So let me go ahead and download this and I'll just download it in the folder I was using before this is it. So I will go ahead and I will it's in virtual environment I mean this is basically you have to install it in any one folder on your on your system just make sure that you have right privileges on it so this is the folder that is pp web app py3 4.1.2 i'm going to extract it here so first things first is i need a virtual environment of python 3 so far i have a virtual environment of python 2 that's what this that is what is in the highlighted here i need now a python 3 environment so let's create that so let me go over to my terminal I am in the home directory so let me just go to virtual environment and here I need to create a virtual environment for python 3. So how do I do that? I just say virtual in minus p to specify which would be the executable and in this case the executable is python 3. Before it would have been just python or python 2 now it is python 3 and let me name this python 3 test. So instead of python2 test, I am going to create python3 test. So let me press enter. So it is basically setting up this thing and now you will see along with the python2 test, there is now python3 test. So the first thing is I need to activate this. Let me go ahead and go into this directory. So now I am in that directory, I am in the environment rather and now as you see it is python 3.5.3 ok. So now I am doing everything in the python version 3 environment. So now let me install django so here if you see it is python django 2.1.1 before I was using 1.8. Now I am using 2.1.1 because I have upgraded everything to the latest versions because let us use the latest version going further. And I will also install matplotlib. So matplotlib I have never really bothered with the versions usually the latest versions are also ok I do not really keep in touch if there is a problem I will let you know. So it is this particular version with this we should be ready to go. So I have extracted the version the latest version here that is this is the version I downloaded that is a zip file 4.1.2 that is the latest version and that has been extracted. So let me go into that folder. And then there is this particular thing. So first thing is I need to do a make migration. So 
So basically by saying make migrations, I am creating all the tables of the database. All right, I'm creating the table structures. I am not creating, the, it's not actually creating the database. All right, it has created this particular database, but there's empty. So now what do I need to do? I need to migrate it. So I just have to say pan migrate, python manage.py migrate. And this is writing all the database, all the tables into the database. All right. Now, as before, I will, as I said before, the database is simulation collection. This is the actual database. This is what contains all the tables. Now, if we start up the server, this shows there are no errors. Server is running, so we can always go start it up. So, let us start a new tab and let us say 127. This is it. If you are in doubt, just copy this link. All right. It's already saved in my web browser, but if you don't, just copy this link. Now, let's go to simulation library. The first thing you'll notice is you'll see this is the new UI. This is totally different from what it was before. All right. Because I've tried to create it, make it a little more appealing. For example, if you say simulation, look at the forms. I'm using what is called Bootstrap. Bootstrap is an inbuilt library of styling sheets which gives you some really good styles to begin with. So, for example, it gives you buttons, it gives you forms, it gives you all these things. Now, the only problem is since I'm starting, I have just installed the software, it's going to be an empty database. So, as I said before, whenever you are upgrading the database, it is always wise to just go and take the latest version of the database. So, this is what is Python 2, 2.0.6 was where I stopped last. All I have to do is go back. Delete this because this is an empty database and copy the old one. So basically the database is basic, is just a table. It's just a set of tables. There's a set of tables interlinked with each other. Doesn't matter how that is. But this table, this set of tables has nothing to do with Python. It's to do with SQL. So even if you change between Python 2 and Python 3 or between versions of Python 3, the database, the chances the database will change are pretty low. The database is usually the same. It is only the actual code which is used to write into the database, read from the database that changes. So you can always copy this database from a previous installation into the new installation. If something has changed, I'll let you know and what needs to be done. So now that this is done, let me run this again. So now you see there has been, there is a warning. Now you might think what is the warning for because there is nothing new in it. Well, sometimes there are very subtle changes. The only way you only thing to do is just have to say migrate again. That's all. Now again, these changes between the database. So what has what has happened is there has been some small change in the database between the Python 2 version and the Python 3 version. But this change in the database is very subtle and you won't feel it. It is something in the way Python writes into the database or in the way Python structures the database. It does not concern the sim circuit simulator. The circuit simulator will wo work just the same. You do not have to worry. All you have to do is run python manage.py migrate and this will write the new changes into the database. That is all. So, I just have to run the server again and let me just refresh this and you see now I am getting back my old simulation. So, this is the new installation and just to give you an idea as you can see again it is very different. It has been styled very well using bootstrap. I have used better buttons before. Buttons were before very drab. So you see here the entire layout has changed. The fonts have changed. The buttons have changed. If I want a button the form has changed. All right. So you see it has changed. So I mean it is still not I would say I do not know if you compare it with a commercial circuit simulator it probably still is not close to that. But 
from from what it was before it's now much more visually appealing so i hope this is this makes it a little easier for you to use a circuit simulator at least those who found the circuit simulator to be downright ugly previously are now found to find it a little more appealing so like for example you see remove circuit this is like a delete button special delete button with bootstrap and all these things so anyway how to use a circuit simulator will be another circuit another uh, another lecture for now i will end this i hope the steps have been clear it is there's not much you just have to download basically you have to download this version extract it and before extracting you need to create you need to create a, a new virtual environment that virtual environment comes this way if you are using conda just follow the instructions there instead of using virtual environment you will have to say conda create new name so and so forth and once you are inside the entire once you you have to activate the virtual environment and once you are inside the virtual environment you have to install django and matplotlib there are those are the two dependencies this circuit simulator needs and after that you just have to say python manage.py make migrations to create the database structures and then after that python manage.py migrate to write it to the database if you are backing up your old database you may need to run migrate once more after that you can run my run you can use run server to launch a circuit simulator so i hope this has this is enough to get you going if you need more help by by all means contact me and you can always message me on facebook or on just email me either way in any case i'll end this lecture and i will continue again and this time i'll be using this particular installation and for that matter every tutorial will contain the first lecture will be how to install the circuit simulator this is just so that it's easy for you to get started so thank you again for watching and see you soon hopefully in a few days bye bye for now